says, Rama, when he saw Bharata, when he got, when he saw him from the Pushpaka Vimana, Rama was still in the Pushpaka Vimana, he saw him. Just the first sight of Bharata itself overwhelmed Rama. He got, it was the same feeling that he experienced. When he saw his father come down from heaven to the battlefield of Lanka, that overwhelming feeling he got when he saw Bharata. And then he saw also the all the others who were there from the Vimana, he could see his mothers, all the citizens of Ayodhya. And how did they feel when they saw Rama? It's a beautiful words of somebody says. Tayarukku andrishar the country and um Tahayal Anan Anan Maya in Pirindurki Elam Anolayam Vandadu Uttan Ay Layark Kandul Adi Rum Pavayana No Yutu Randa Yakaiku Yir Pundarum Uttan For the mothers Tayarukku it was it for them it felt like being reunited with a calf. The, in a cattle fair of Thirunamalai, so to say, in those days there will be 50,000 cows during Kartika Purnima. The calf will get separated. In that crowd of cows, how to find its mother, how oh, mother will be desperate. But they'll find each other. It'll, it'll shout, it'll move, that will move. Somehow in that they'll be able to they'll locate each other. In fact, that is given by our elders as a as one of the drishtanta uh, for karma. As soon as the person is born, the relevant karma will come and catch it. Wherever it is born. <coughs> so the mothers, it was like long lost calf has come and suddenly it got reunited. There is some amount of study being done recently, although in India is ancient science, but in Western world, there is some amount of study being done about the emotional, the emotions of animals. It's as, they are as emotional as human beings. Except they don't speak. Some of them to think that they are lesser. They are not so. They are highly emotional, they go through all the emotions that you and I go through. So, Tayarikandi Chanda Kandri and Umtahena Anand, Maya in Pirindor Kella Manolayam Vandadotta, you will learn by a bit of one. Maya in Pirindor those for those who have freed themselves from the shackles of Maya. But then, even then, they have not found that which they seek for such, for them, when they saw Sri Rama, it was saying that supreme Paramatman that they were eternally seeking, that one was there in front of them as Sri Rama. Where the mind can get completely decimated in that presence, which is the most beautiful presence of the Paramatma. For the famished younger brothers, Bharata, Shatrugna, and all that, to see Rama was as if, you know. 
They had eyeballs before, but they didn't have the pupil. Two black pupils that came. Suddenly the eyes had two black pupils back, they could see. And to all others, it is like those. There is somebody whose body is completely dried up because of illness. Near dead. They are lying down. Don't know if they are alive. Then on somewhere life comes in and gets into that body. Like that it was to see when they saw Sri Rama. So there was Rama in the Pushpaka Vimana and all these people were waiting for him. Karma is so much logged on to the mood of the occasion that he sees first to climbing in into the Pushpaka Vimana are the three mothers. Then he sees the brothers along with them, climbing in. And then immediately alongside is Guru Vasishta. He is also climbing into the chariot. That's all. I mean, the rest of the people are too, not, not jumping in from all sides. So, what does Rama do? He first falls flat at the feet of the Guru. Vasishtha. The great sage Vasishtha's feet. Who blesses him and he embraces him again and again. Lakshmana too falls flat at Vasishtha's feet. And Vasishtha showers his blessings on him and holds him in a very affectionate hug. So having prostrated foreign flat at Vasishta's feet and having been blessed by him and embraced by him, Rama then turns to his mothers. And he first goes and touches Kaikeya's feet. Before turning to the other two. <laughs> it's only a God can do. <laughs> Imagine what it meant to write here. They all the mothers apparently bathed him with their tears. So too did they bathe Sita with their tears and they blessed Lakshmana, all through the mothers blessed Lakshmana heartily. Long may you live, long may you live. So coming back to Valmiki, Bharata then having paid his respects to Rama and to Sita, and <coughs> to Lakshmana as well, having embraced Lakshmana. Then on Rama's direction and Hanuman's direction, perhaps he goes in one by one. He embraces Sugriva, Jambavan, Angada, Mahinda, Duvida, Neela, Rishabha, all the ape chiefs and the bear chiefs one by one. Sushena, Nala, Gavaksha, Gandhamadra, Sarabha, Pangasa. In Bharata's case, it is the immense gratitude that he feels for all of them.
That said, it is also the sensitivity of a day to day life itself. You will notice you miss someone, that person will never forgive you. You acknowledge three people by chance, you missed a fourth or a fifth. Finished. They'll hold it against you forever in their life. You yourself will do it if somebody doesn't acknowledge you. Bartha, one by one, he went and met each of the ape leaders and embraced them. The king to Ayodhya he was, Bartha, at that point in time. And Valmiki says the apes actually, who could assume any form at will, at the time of meeting Bharata, now they had all transformed themselves to human forms. So they were all good looking. <laughs> good looking stars they were. And then he embraced. Particularly, he went back to Subriva, embraced him again and told him, Tumas, Tumasmagam Chaturnam Vai Bhrata Sugriva Panchama Sahurta Jayate Mitram Apakaro Lakshmanam Lakshanam Tumasmagam Chaturnam Vai Bhrata Sugriva Panchama Sugriva, you are for us four brothers, you are now the fifth. You are our fifth brother in our family now. It is out of help and affection that friendship is born. And out of malice and ill will and injury, those are the signs of an enemy. So he calls him our brother, you are our fifth brother. He commented us all, he, some of the elders point out that this Sahurta Jayate Mitram Apakaro Ari Lakshanam. That is, out of affection and goodwill, etc., friendship is born, out of ill will and malice, those are the signs of enmity. In a common definition form, a friend who is so helpful and so affectionate towards you is sometimes more of a brother than a brother who is actually ill, has got ill will and malice towards you. Who could be your enemy in, in a real sense? You see enough of it. Bharata then spoke to Vibhishna and said, Dhritya Tvaya Sahayena Kritam Karma Sudhushkaram It's why I saw a great good fortune that with you are there and with your help, the most impossible of tasks, it has been possible to accomplish. Meanwhile, unnoticed Shatrugna was doing his he was prostrating to Rama and to Sita and to Lakshmana. And Rama came to his desolate mother Kausalya, who had gone, become a, all bones, not much else. She was there alive, holding on to life. One day Rama will come. He, he apparently went and clasped her feet. Valmiki says, simply got hold of her feet in his hands. He put his head there and it was happiness pours through her entire being at that moment. And the people, the citizens of Ayodhya, they said to Rama, Swagatam Te Mahabaho. Kausalyananda Vardhana Idi Pranjana Sarve Nagara Ramabhruvan 
स्वागतम ते महाबाहु अलग वैसे वेलकम 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 ओ रामा माइटिया त्यानंजलि सहस्राणि प्रग्रहितानि नागरे ही आकोषाणि भवद्मानि दलस्य वरदाग्रिते एंड दिस वाज सी ऑफ पीपल सी ऑफ सिटिजेंस एंड आर्मी सोल्जर्स एक्सेट्रा हु आर देयर ऑल ऑफ देम हाउ क्लाउड स्वागतम कमिंग फ्रॉम देम टू रामा and all of them with their hands up anjalin tan anjali sahasrani thousands and thousands of up, up, up held hands like that it looked like a sea of lotuses rama <laughs> looked around it was like a mass garden of lotuses padmani and now the time was right Parthaya was having the sandals, the padukas of Rama. He knew what was the just and proper thing to do at what time, etc. Bharata. He went <coughs> taking those sandals. He took Rama's feet and he put it. Mm-hmm.